Hello everybody and welcome back to Blood and Magic. Alright, now, in between episodes we done a little bit, we got this nice new weapon, the Spiky Claws. Uh, put those up here in the these swords up in the oak tool rack because I'm just tired of getting all the wills and the weak blood shards. I've got quite a bit and right now I just didn't want to pick any more up. So we are carrying around our Tome of Perdita. Or how do you say that? Which is currently holding 53 levels in it. Nice. Alright, uh, let's step outside and we have this set up now. We have upgraded this uh, sanguinary pedestal to the second tier, which means it is more efficient. Uh, we've also upgraded our tank to being able to hold 9,232,000 millibuckets. Uh, all we did was make a bunch of extra tanks and mix them into that one. That's going to do its thing. Actually, we need that real quick. Let's cut that off so we can break that. And we'll cut this back on. Now this does have a built-in tank of uh, 10,000 millibuckets at a time. But let's fly over here. So now what we can do, we can either put the tank right here and it'll drain in, or we can place it on top of it. At least we used to be able to. Right, it's not wanting to let us do it. Just throw it in there, fill it up. There we go. We're going to need that in a minute. Because I do want to get Evil Craft going pretty good so that we can progress in it. And having it will make things even easier. Uh, we want... Where is it? Let me show you what we're looking for right now. Ah, this right here. A Ball of Empty Promises. And uh, somebody definitely is, you know, making a comment about life, in my opinion, right there. We do want to start getting some of these promises of different things, which is why we need the Ball of Empty Promises, so that we can turn it into a Ball of Promises. Well, a filled Ball of Empty Promises, then into a Ball of Promises. We need some crushed dark gem. Put this in there. Bam. Now the way you make it into a ball of promises you put in the blood infuser. Take these wings off for now. This will take it a minute. And once we get the first item we need, which is the promise of tenacity one, it's this right here. To make this is a iron block, so let's go ahead and go grab that. Iron block. Now, the promise of tenacity is a tiered system. To get the second one, you do have to have the first one. To get the third one, you do have to have the second one. So we will be trying to get this. Ow! We just took ball damage. Never fun. Okay. Ball of promises. Let's throw this in here. And we need, what is that? A spider eye, ender pearl, and eye of ender. Okay. Might as well go ahead and grab everything we're going to need. Because hopefully we're going to have enough blood to do all the way up to tier 3. And maybe we can get some of these. Uh, these are iron as well, so... Two more blocks of iron. Blocks of gold. 
need to repair a bunch of this gold armor so we can uh, smelt it down. Need a block of diamond. I don't know why we made two blocks of gold. We only need one. Uh, redstone and lapis. Spider eye. We need under pearl and I have ender, so let's make that real quick. Oh yeah, everything we should need. Oh wait, we need some more crushed uh, dark gems. Dark, we're gonna need two. Now, luckily, we don't actually lose the ball when we use it, so that's a good thing. All right, there we go. This can just be... Uh, let's go ahead and throw those in there. And spider eye. There we go. Now, we don't lose the ball, which is a good thing. Watch this. This makes it where the... The infuser can hold more blood, these do, and it unlocks a extra spot. So that's going to be good. Let's put that in there. Do that. Now, as you see, this now holds... 40,000 millibuckets instead of the 10,000 millibuckets that it holds without this. And believe me, once we get up to the Promise of Tenacity 3, it holds a lot of blood. Alright. Good, those are stackable. Put this in here. Come on, do your thing, do your thing. Oh, this takes forever. I do kind of like having this out here at this. I think we're going to go with velocity first. That way it just speeds it up. Now, velocity and productivity are actually stackable. And they only stack up to like four, though. But still, it's good to have. Right, come here, you. That. That. And a block of redstone. Now, there are other uses for that as well. Get that ball back. I do want to... Throw this in here real quick. See if this will uh, work its magic on it. Some items it will, some it won't. Uh, Helps if I don't hover over an item. Yes, it worked. Now, I would like to have five of these grand total. And I'll show you why when the time comes. I the four of them in there, though. There we go. Yeah, like I said, they only stack up to four. But, that's okay. that again.
It should go a lot faster now. Yeah, look at that. Luckily, we have over a million blood to work with here. So, hopefully it'll be enough to get us up to having what we need. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and make this one. Alright, let's do that. Almost sweepy time. Almost sweepy time. We're going to put this in here. Now we can't throw this into the chest yet. That, um, well, the infuser yet. Sorry. But that's okay because we're able to send enough. this in here again. It only made four. Well, that's sad. So we'll do it this way. <laughs> I made six. Yes, I know technically this is cheating and, you know, everything, but uh, whatever. All right. One of these. I want one of these. And I think we need gold, because we're going to make this real quick. Gold and iron. Two gold, two iron. What this does is walk faster and more efficiently. And you can either put it in a bobble slot or you don't have to. It's a speed boost and a step boost, which I, I'm not a big fan of the step boost, but for this speed boost, yeah, hello. I love a good speed boost. We can really start moving now. All right, this is done. So the gold block in. I'm going to do all fine. Oh, but let's go grab the uh, four of the productivities, or actually eight of them is what I would prefer to have. This is why I don't like step assist. It doesn't matter if I've got it on me or in my inventory because it's going to work. Productivity makes it where uh, it doesn't use as much blood. So, that's a good thing. Right, we got the gold. So, this, this, and the ender pearl. Help if I forget, don't forget to pick that up. Now, we just replace that one, and suddenly, bam, more. There's a productivity in there. Uh, bam. Oh, may have grabbed too, too many of that. We'll find out. Yeah, looks like we did. That's okay, though. And we no longer need Tenacity 1 in there. This thing just, this one takes a lot of blood to make. Uh, 
Come on, come on. Make it. And you can watch when it gets done, bam, blood drops down. There go, do your thing. Yeah, with this one, it can hold 160,000 millibuckets. That's just promise of tenacity, too. Throw this, throw this, and we throw this in here. Get tenacity 3, get our ball back. Tenacity 3 in there. 640,000 millibuckets. The productivity in there. Now, I could do two uh, sets of velocity and it would be really fast, but saving blood is better at this point. Get those. Now that we have this up to Tenacity 3, we can make an item that will simplify having blood in stuff which is this, this entangled chalice. We need some corrupted tears, which are tenacity three chest and a gas tear. Eat real quick. Come on, get in the hole. We need tiers. I'm going to throw these because these ender tiers, uh, the use for them is literally you just turn them into gas tiers. It's only use. We got two of them. We'll go ahead and change them into gas tiers. Come on. Bam. And turn them into corrupted tears. Because quite frankly, having several of the chalices will come in handy. There we go. Corrupted tears. Yay! Yay! Alright. We need gold and dark gems so gold dark gems I only want one but see we can put a entangled chalice here Bam. now we have three of them and they are linked together. Now they sadly are not unstackable once you unstack them, but that's okay. Now what we're going to do here, and these chalices have wonderful uses. We're going to put one in here. Oh, it's not going to let me. I know what I got to do first. We're going to set this up then over here. Probably have to wait till I actually have something in it. What we're going to do, we're going to break this block right here. We are going to put a chalice in the hole. Set that to that. Now, if you look, these chalices all have blood in them. It's because the inventory of these chalices are all linked together. Which is wonderful. Can we throw this in here now? Yes. Now we can put this in here. You can pump any liquid through these chalices uh, that you want to. Throw this in here. And this will now fill this up. The tank is over there getting filled. And we have a permanent way of filling them up. Ooh, I think I get a jump boost from this uh, ring as well. Alright. Now we're going to get, since we have a good supply of blood, we're going to get into some really fun stuff with Evil Craft. Uh, we 
need a couple of items. That's the first thing I want to make. Now, for those of y'all who are familiar, who have been following my channel for a while, you'll know one of the things I, one of my favorite Minecraft items is Ender Pearls. I love me some Ender Pearls. So, Evil Craft has a special one in it. It's craftable. You need four of the Dark Power Gems, five Ender Pearls. And you get the Blood Pearl of Teleportation. And I'll show you what that does here in a minute. Uh, we need a couple more items. Let me find where it is. Ah. We need this, the Weather Container, which is a Dark Gem, a Glass Bottle, and Sugar. Sugar... Okay. Couple of these. Alright. And dark gems. Yes, in Evil Craft you will need a, a lot of dark gems. I'll hold on to one of those. Now, let's see, where was the well, we could actually use one of these, a couple of these too, but we'll get to that here in a minute. Uh, there's a certain item I want to craft. Not that one. Not that one. This one, the Scepter of Thunder. Now we need a Blood Orb, which is this. So. Glass. We are running low on glass too. All right. Now, just about everything in the in Evil Craft is powered by blood. Go figure. Yeah, a mod that has almost everything powered by blood. You wouldn't see that in Blood and Magic at all, would you? Let's throw this uh, empty orb in here and fill it up. As you can see, it still takes it a minute. Uh, again, we could speed this up faster if we gave up some productivity, but I mean, each one of these gives an efficient blood efficiency of 1.5. So, I mean, that's a lot. That's a 6, 12 blood efficiency. We've got our blood orb. Let's throw our pearl of weak teleportation in it. All right. And you know how ender pearls hurt you when you throw them? This one doesn't. This one does, however. Uh, did they get rid of that? It used to give a weakness status. But now we have a reusable Ender Pearl. Yeah, it has to be recharged, but eh, really, that's not bad. We have some dark gems. Our blood orb. And some blaze rods. And here we go. Spawns Thunder when activated. Single use. So, yes, it is a one-time use item. But... There are some uses for it, as you know. I'm not sure if it's going to th summon the whole storm. But I'm hoping it will. Because we want to catch the storm. Yep, summons a whole storm. Let's give it a minute. Let's uh, leave the biome, make sure it is storming. This is only rain. I want thunder. I want lightning. Uh, let's 
storm. There we go. We've got our storm now. Now, what we do is we take this weather container, throw it in here to the environmental accelerator charger. We're going to have weather container thunderstruck. Now, if we throw this, it will create a thunderstorm. Not that we're going to use it for that. And if you notice, the storm also has actually stopped. When you use the Dark Temple's weather accelerator, it does change the weather. Now, the rain is still here, but it, the thunder's gone. If you use it in rain, you get one that has water and turns it to sunshine. If you use it when the sun's up, you get uh, one that's sunny. And if you break it, it will create um, a sunny day. So what we want to do with this, we want to put this in here and then surround it in enderpearls. Lightning grenades. What do we want lightning grenades for? Why wouldn't you want an item you could throw in where it hits lightning strikes? Why wouldn't you want that? I mean, I guess I could just be a little weird in the fact that I want that. But, yeah, whatever. Now. Throw that in there. Now, let's get some other really good items. We need some iron. One, two, three, four. I want to say we want four of this item. Maybe, no, maybe five. We're going to do five of these to be safe. We only have 22 of this, so real quick, five of these is about going to wipe out 22 of this, so yes, I know, I know. There's somebody out there screaming, quit doing that, quit doing that. No, if you don't like it, don't do it. All right. And if you're wondering why I want five of this, that will be explained here in a minute, too. All right, five. Now, uses for this. Actually, make another one to make this, which is one thing we really want to do. So, it's literally just the same recipe, but with the ring in the middle. Those might be in the wrong spot. I don't know. We'll find out that. Nope. All right. That's useful to have. Now, we want to get up to having this one specifically, but we can't get that till we go to the end. We need this too, but we can't get that yet. Now these. Ha-ha! We have just unlocked a new thing in Blood Magic. I'll show you what it is. It'll be interesting to see if Ghost... Oh, watch this guy die. Oh, he didn't turn into it. I'm surprised. Do I have to kill them now? Used to it was uh, however they died, but uh, yeah, whatever. Let's go find a mob to kill. Oh, that chunk's not wanting to load. Can we get over? Oh. It's lagged out now. What up in your man? Oh 
come on. Oh, looks like everything's finally loaded. That's good. Come. Do we have what is it? Closure. Yay, we have a few of these forgotten player, forgotten player, eventual spirits. I will open this one up. Anderman, where did you go? Oh, Enderman. Come on, Enderman. You're not in here. Not under there. Wherever did you go, Enderman? As you see, as we get close to the Dark Temple, it does have a cooldown period in between uses. So, yeah. Enderman ran away. Oh, there he is. And he teleported again. Look, dude, there's no rain over here. Just come over here. We will play nicely together. I promise? Oh, my kid, I'm going to kill him if I get a chance. use it on a sheep that's boring or somebody that has a good drop I know who we can use it on Oh, that's an expensive one. I don't really need that one. Because, I, I mean, that one no use. Hello, hello, hello. Lag. Oh, I don't know what that was about. Place that out there. No! Oh, by the way, last time. Last episode, we put that Tartaric Gem in here. And set this up like this. Demon Will Cluster Crystals. How is that? Still quite a bit. Good, good. Yeah, we can break that and get items out for it. Enderman, where did you go? Why is the Enderman running from me? Oh yeah, because we're trying to kill him. You know? Oh... Enderman hunting, never fun. Is he in my house again? I don't see him there. Or there. Good thing about the rain is it is Making it where you won't go to certain biomes. But still, I mean, it's a bit of a pain in the butt to find. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well then, what mob do we want to find then? Actually, technically, I can make an Enderman. Yes, I can make Enderman. Problem is, <gasps> there you are, buddy. You go up here, you're gonna die, dude. Aha, we found you. Let's place that right there. Hi. I think you would rather just die. This might be bleeding off zombies, too. Hmm. You know what? Creepers are useful. You always use gunpowder. Hi. If you look closely, there is a ghost there. Of the creeper. We now put it in the box. Break the box. Look, contains a creeper. Now bring it back on. Sleep real quick. We're gonna have to light up the exterior of that zombie spawner. All right. Got that. You, you, go in there. All right, now. <coughs> mm. So much to do. So we need this. Drops when killing a vengeful spirit. There's only really one way to kill a vengeful spirit, and that's with this thing. Don't think we can make this purple. Yeah. Well, that is craftable. Nice to know we don't have either one of those crops, but okay. That's easy to craft right there. Oh, so easy. But without this, we're not going to be able to do it yet. So that's something we'll come to later. And wow, actually, we're about out of time. If you liked what you saw here, you know what to do. Sell out moment real quick. Like, subscribe, notification bell. I do want to thank everyone for watching. And I'll see you next time.